G'day everybody, you're back here with your boy Death Row, and today we are looking at the new arcade one-up stuff that has been discussed. These are, are not final versions, but these are the new machines that they are bringing out. And wow, I think they've blown quite a few of us away. Let, let's get in, let's go back to the top of the page. So we can all see what goodies they have. They're going to have the Legacy Editions. The Pong 4 Player Pub Table. You've got the Atari Mini thing that's coming soon. Let's go down. Got a 4 player X-Men cabinet. Beautiful artwork on the side. Now it's going to have a few other games in there and that's going to be Captain America and the Avengers Galactic Storm uh, that, that's a number of games there Let, let's take a look at the cab I've got a, a coin door on the front a false coin door not sure if it's going to be actually lit up or anything time will tell you know, they're going to ask what people want just like what Arcade Run-Up always do Let's get out of there, we'll quickly go back and, and look at some of the other great ones that are coming. Dragon's Lair. Who doesn't... The laser disc game, Dragon's Lair. That's right, folks. Let's have a look at the artwork. Brilliant. I've even got the design of the, of the marquee right. That looks good. Even the... I've done the three-way panel artwork goes into the screen and you've got the slope of the screen as well and it just doesn't come with Dragon's Lair it comes with the sequel as well as Space Ace so that, that's going to be great now I'm not sure what the pricing will be on these but you can sign up to notify you when a bit more inf information comes about let's head down you've got the same thing with the Space Ace cabinet same games but just the artwork for Space Ace then you've got the big one you've got Killer Instinct who didn't love this game that's got Killer Instinct 1 Killer Instinct 2 and it looks like it's got some battle toads that's right and it's the arcade version and Double Dragon as a bonus game oh doesn't that look let's look at that artwork once again, un unsure about the coin door. I guess if people want uh, functioning, glowing, you know, with the slots, that they may may change it. But hopefully, the buttons and that are better quality than some of the garbage that we had on previous units that I managed to get my hands on. You've got here's the legacy stuff. You've got a tempest. Got a ton of games on it as well. Those look good. I'm going to get a control panel look. One thing I wish it did have is the volcano type buttons. Those look good, but it'd be nice to, you know, if you could actually. Yeah, we're getting out there now we're going to the I just wish with this one here they did not use the Pac-Man artwork that's been used a thousand times uh, you, you got all these other games on there now look at all the games Pac-Man, Gallagher, Galaxian well people I call it Gallagher people call it Galagher or all different names you've got Pac-Land Obviously Pac-Man, Super Pac-Man, Dig Dug, Pac-Man Pal, Pac-Mania, Mappy. And Dig Dug 2 and Rompers. I, I honestly think they could have used Pac-Land. Or... Galaxian artwork. I, I just, you know, I think the Pac-Man artwork's been beaten like a dead dog. Anyway, now we've got a... A Capcom Legacy Edition. Look at that. Looks brilliant. It's using the original Street Fighter 2 art. 
lovely, lovely uh, riser as well. It looks beautiful. But I'm not a big fan of the buttons that, that I've been using on these cabs in the past. I need better quality. But it does look, look nice. There's going to be two additions apparently. One with uh, the light up marquee. Well, the standard marquee, I guess. And the games that it has Street Fighter 2, Wood Warrior, Street Fighter 2 Turbo Fighting, the original Street Fighter, Dark Stalkers, Commando, Final Fight, Ghost and Goblins, Strider, 1944 Root Master, Street Fighter 2 Championship Edition, New Ch Street Fighter 2 The uh, New Challenges, and Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. That is a great. If I wanted any of them, I'd probably go for this or the, and, and the Killer Instinct. I don't think... Oh yeah, as well as... I'd probably go for Dragon's Lair over the Space Ace. I, I, I like Dragon's Lair more. They are the three cabs that I'd go for. The Street Fighter 2. Now the, there's also this, the Pong ball player pub table. It would be great to have in a pub if people don't fucking spill the beers over it. You'll probably have to have some sealant and, and better protection than, than the average uh, cover that you get on the basic iPad one up. So you're going to have to have something serious in a pub. It does look cool. Got a few games, you know, it's got Pong and Quadro Pong and Warlords is there, Tempest is there, Circus Atari is there. So it, it looks decent. It's not something I would purchase if I owned a bar, yeah, for sure. There'd be other games that I put in the bar. That's some of the other new, new stuff that's recently come out. It's the Outrun. Wasn't a big fan of the outrun, but it, it is what it is. And Big Buck Hunter, it's not a game I'd purchase. It's not the uh, Street Fighter 2, Killer Instinct, Dragon's Lair. For, I wouldn't go X Men 4 player for myself. And, and, and that's it, folks. That is the new arcade one up lineup coming soon. And I just can't wait to see these out on the market. No, they're not going to be out next week, you know, there's still parts of the artwork is finalised, some of it's not on certain machines. Obviously the coin coin door debacle, is it, do we want a real coin door with functioning lights? Yes, for sure. You want that most, you know, if they're going to make a premium version with all that going, they should also, you know, do better components. Because... That'd be awesome. I mean, people don't mind paying that top dollar. As long as it has premium components, not crap. And I've got the Pac-Man cab sitting next to me, and I also bought a Street Fighter control panel for it, and Jesus, uh, the, the buttons and, and joysticks were terrible. I replaced them straight away. Uh, I had no, no choice. But anyway, folks, this has been your boy Death Row rambling on about the new stuff at Arcade 1UP. And it's coming soon, hopefully in 2021. Who knows when it's coming, but we'll soon see. And don't forget to, to check out arcade1up.com. Those guys over there, you get all the information there. You can buy your accessories there if they're in stock. And yeah, obviously if you support there too if you've got issues with your current uh, machine. Anyway, folks. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Follow the channel. And we'll see you in the next video.